ask you the same question I've asked a lot of people this summer. Uh, where were you when the Oilers won the draft lottery? Uh, I think I was at the Western Hotel, still in Edmonton, and I was with uh, Bogdan Yakima because uh, I thought I'd go to play the World Championship, and then I couldn't go, and I stayed for another extra week to uh, get some treatments going and just make sure my hips are all right. And yeah, I was at Western Hotel and just. You know, by accident, we just turned TV on, and that was uh, we got first again. And I hear people are screaming at a hotel, so it was kind of crazy. And you guys probably seen it. So, but what was your reaction? I mean, are, are you excited? I mean, we hear so many great things about McDavid. Well, yeah, everyone talks about McDavid. You know, it's kind of it's kind of been crazy, especially in this city. And I think it's really good for us too. And it's it's really good, uh, real good player. And uh, I think it'll help us too to be better and uh, yeah. Are you looking forward to maybe the chance of having him as, as your center at times this year? Well, it'll be, it'll be not bad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, we still have some time. You just uh, have to be ready for a season, have to be ready for a camp and it's all about coach decision when we're going to play and it's, uh, it's all about them. But our, our, uh, our goal is just uh, be strong, play hard and just uh, uh, make some uh, good make some good fitness testing and uh, just get going exhibition and just ready to go for starting season. How nice of a problem is it to have either a guy like Connor McDavid or the other option, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, passing you pucks for one-timers and feeding you for opportunities? Well, we have really good center. Uh, both of them, they, they're, really, they're really good and they're really smart and the, I think the, one of the best centers will be, I think, in the league, especially in our team. And, uh, you know, it's not all about just a couple of guys. It's not about just one guy. We have another team, and we have another 20 guys who are gonna who are gonna play hard, and who are gonna uh, make some things happen in in our team. And he he's gonna do everything he could, you know. And a lot of changes again this year. And of course, all this organization they want to do the best to make our team better. So it's all about a team, and we gotta stick with it. We gotta be together and uh, uh, show how we're gonna play. You know, we we gain older every year, and. Uh, the bad, the bad way should happen. This should stop one day. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Bad way should stop one day. Sorry, sorry for my English, no, but no, yeah. Okay. So we have to turn it off. Uh, like a lot happened this this summer. Uh, not just McDavid, but coaching change and uh, general manager change, and, and then free agency and stuff. There are always changes in the summer. Do they seem more significant? You know, larger uh, than maybe other changes that happen in the summer. Well, these guys, they've been work. Uh, for example, was there for many years, and they've been playing the playoffs, you know, and they know how to play in the playoffs. And uh, they coach that guys like Joe Thornton, you know, Pavelski, and, uh, and other guys, Brett Burns. And uh, again, it's a good opportunity. And GM won a cup with the Boston, right? So, uh, you know, it's always good to have those kind of guys. And I hope, and everyone hoping, they're going to bring something special in our team and to make our team better again. And we'll have to you just play, you know, it's, uh, you know, some things going to happen every day. You know, you never know. But uh, we just, uh, you know, I'm just happy for a season, you know, and uh, ready to be back and can't wait to, can't wait to play and see all the guys and just uh, be ready for it. The second half of last season, you seem to be getting more shots away. You seem to be more effective on the power play. And, and you and you were obviously scoring more goals in the second half of the season than you than you had for a while. What were you doing, and, and how do you build on that for this year? Uh, I don't want to go back. It's it's on the past. Uh, uh, I had a really good partner. You know, I had really good support uh, from my from my coach, and uh, I got Rosie in the center and. We know we, we kind of understand each other, so that was that was really amazing. I really enjoyed my game. I really enjoyed enjoy the game, our team, and and we have to, you know, Rosie is not here this year, and uh, someone's going to be on his spot, you know, and I got to be better again, and and it doesn't matter who you're going to play with, uh, you just you just got to stick with it, trying to play like you like I played uh, last uh, last half season last year, and uh, well. Two more shots, just uh, be hungry for a puck and just uh, be hungry for goals. That's all I can say. What were you up to uh, in the off season? on a lighter note? What did you do this summer? Well, I went back home. Uh, my season, again, uh, finished kind of a little bit earlier than 
I, I want to, but it's happened, and while well, that way I start my train a little bit earlier too. Uh, yeah, when I went back home and see my friends, went to vacation a couple of times, you know, those kind of back and forth. I had a training too, and um, I trained with Chad Darman. He made the whole program for me, and, you know, those guys are easy. I have a, I have a place to train, and that was really good, and I was really excited to go back and then uh, just get my uh, get my body going, and just I was training really, really hard, and then now I'm here already two weeks, and uh, I have enough time to be 100% ready, maybe 90, I don't know. And then <laughs> on the season, I'll be 100% ready. So, how, how are your hips feeling? I mean, was it just a minor issue that had to be corrected, or how, how's everything? Uh, no, how's everything? It's fine. Uh, nothing's bothering me, and I'm ready to 100%. You know, I'm I'm running and I'm I'm doing biking. You know, and I'm just sprinting. So uh, everything's fine. I'm ready to go. So I don't feel any problem now.